paracetamol is a paraaminophenol derivative. These derivatives possess analgesic and antipyretic action, but lack anti-inflammatory effects. Paracetamol exists as white crystalline powder, sparingly soluble in water, soluble in alcohol, and very slightly soluble in methylene chloride. Paracetamol produce antipyretic effect by acting on the hypothalamic heat-regulating center in brain and analgesia by elevating the pain threshold. Usual oral adult dose of paracetamol is 500 mg to 1 gram for 3 or 4 times a day. Now, before moving towards SAR of paracetamol, let's look at the structure of paracetamol. Firstly, aminophenol ring is essential for antipyretic activity of paracetamol. Amino and hydroxyl group in benzene ring both should be at para position. Presence of these group at any other position on ring result in loss of activity. If both hydroxyl group and acetyl group is removed from ring, compound become aniline, which is more toxic. If only hydroxyl group is removed from ring, we get a set analyde, which is very much toxic as compared to paracetamol. And, last but not the least, amide derivatives from aromatic acids are less active or inactive in nature. Side effects. Paracetamol very rarely causes side effects if you take it at the right dosage. But side effects of paracetamol includes liver toxicity and kidney damage in overdose. This can be fatal. Allergic reactions that could produce skin rashes or swelling. Blood disorders. Flushes, a rapid heartbeat known as tachycardia or low blood pressure. Clinical uses. Paracetamol is a common painkiller used to treat aches and pain. It can also be used to reduce a high temperature. It is commonly used as an antipyretic and analgesic agent. So, that's all for today. Hope you like this video. For more video about SAR of various chemical compounds. Keep sharing and keep supporting. Thank you.